Hello everyone and big congratulations to those who match into residency this year. In this video we'll go over a quick summary of the match results, match uh, data in each specialty and give you some insights from match 2025. The data is fully based on the NRMP match data. Here you can see a big summary but I'm going to go over the details of each specialty and the type of applicants which are available at this one here, view 2025 advanced data tables and I'll leave the link for this PDF in the description of this video. So let's get started. The table I like the most from the NRMP data is this table too that shows you the different type of applicants in addition to the different specialties. And let's start with the most common specialty for IMGs which is internal medicine. And you will see a lot of internal medicine specialties or categories here but the one that we care about the most is this one categorical because that's the one that most people apply to. And you can see there are 10,000 941 positions available so almost 11,000 spots and the majority of it got filled there are still almost like 400 spots that are not filled uh, but the majority of it gets filled and here you can see how many applicants from each category filled these spots MD seniors are uh, fourth year medical students in the US from allopathic medical schools and DO seniors are from osteopathic medical schools so these are the majority of U.S. students. MD and DO grads are uh, the same medical students from allopathic and osteopathic schools that graduated. So usually they did not match and then they apply again and that's why they're considered as grads. Others, you have U.S. IMGs and then U.S. IMGs. So we're going to focus mainly on MD seniors, U.S. IMGs, so IMGs with a citizenship and non-U.S. IMGs, which are IMGs without citizenship, which are the majority of IMGs. And here you can see that the number of unfilled spots. So starting with internal medicine, you have 3,573 non-US IMGs that match into internal medicine. And as you can see, that's a big number. And it's almost as the number of US medical students matching into internal medicine. So non-US IMGs constitute around 33.7%, almost 34% of all IM uh, matched applicants this cycle and US IMGs are 1145 and that's around 11% of matched applicants in internal medicine. Let's look at anesthesiology which people are talking about more and more and it's getting more competitive and you can see that's also reflected by small number of IMGs matching into anesthesiology. You have almost 1800 spots filled and you have only 84 non-US IMGs and 47 US IMGs matching into anesthesiology. Dermatology, although it's available here as a PGY1 spot, you will find it also down as a PGY2 spot and this is the most common route. So we'll talk about that when we reach PGY2 spots. So let's uh, skip dermatology for now. Emergency medicine, another specialty that is getting more and more competitive and more attractive for applicants. You have 3000 spots filled, only 65 unfilled. A few years ago there were hundreds of spots unfilled in, in EM but now this number is going down. You can see that a lot of the spots for emergency medicine is filled by DO seniors almost as much as MD seniors, slightly less but it's a big number and you only have 131 non-US IMGs going into emergency medicine and part of that is the uh, challenge with getting rotations in EM and we actually have a full video about matching in EM as an IMG and a blog about that and if you need one-on-one -on -one help to get advice on how to match into EM we have a phenomenal advisor ready to help you with that so check out the advising service I will leave in the description of this video. Family medicine another common specialty you have uh, 4,500 spots filled and IMGs have good representation in there 801 spot is filled by the US IMGs and 626 by US IMGs. Interventional radiology will see it both as a PGY1 and a PGY2 spots. And you can see only seven uh, non-US IMGs match into uh, IR as a PGY1 spot. Uh, neurologic surgery, which is neurosurgery, very competitive specialty, but still you have 16 non-US IMGs who match into neurosurgery and two US IMGs. So people will tell you, oh, it's impossible. It's not impossible because there are 18 people just this year who match into neurosurgery. But it's difficult, it's not easy because there is a lot of non-US IMGs who did not match. So it is not easy but it is not impossible. And with the right guidance, with research, with good LORs, with connections, you would have a sh chance 
but nothing is guaranteed. And you can see that the majority of spots are filled by MD seniors. Neurology, another common specialty for IMGs, you see 223, so 223 spots filled by non-US IMGs and 46 filled by US IMGs, and this is the total number of spots filled. So around 30% of the spots are filled by IMGs and more than half filled by MD seniors. OBGYN, considered a surgical specialty, you have 44 non-US IMGs and 50 US IMGs matching OBGYN but the majority of spots are filled by MD seniors. Orthopedic surgery, another very competitive specialty. You have 14, 14 in US IMGs and eight US IMGs who match into ortho. And again, the majority of the spots filled by MD seniors, but that shows you, although it is difficult, there are still people who do it every year. I wanna go over pediatrics, another common specialty for IMGs, 594 non-US IMGs and 251 for US IMGs. So that's a good representation in pediatrics, plastic surgery in a graded competitive specialty. Uh, this is a low number of IMGs matching into plastic surgery compared to prior years, but still four non-US IMGs and two US IMGs match into plastics. The majority of the spots are filled by MD seniors. Psychiatry, also good numbers of IMGs matching 190 and 153. This is surgery as a categorical spot. So categorical general surgery, you have 114 non-US IMGs and 100 US IMGs and the majority are filled by MD seniors. On the other hand, surgery prelim, which is not as competitive because it's only one year of training and I have a full blog on how to match into general surgery and the differences between prelim and categorical. And you can see that a lot of spots are filled by non-US IMGs, 240 and 88 by US IMGs and only 267 are filled by MD seniors because of the uncertainty of the prelim year and the downsides of doing one year in the place and then you have to apply to the match again. So that's why it's not attractive for MD seniors and IMGs who want to match into categorical. A lot of time they start here in the prelim and then they match into categorical. And then they match into categorical. Thoracic surgery, two people match into thoracic surgery as IMGs. Last year there were zero. Vascular surgery, another competitive specialty, you have nine and two IMGs match into vascular surgery. Let's talk a little bit about PGY2 spots because a lot of people are not familiar with this route. So some specialties you apply to one year, which is PGY1 in one place, and then you apply to PGY2, 3, 4 in another place, both at the same time. So now let's say you're applying in uh, March, you, you match in March of 2025. So you match in a spot for July of 2025 and then for PGY2 starting in July of 2026 both at the same time. You know both of them at the same time in March 2025. So you're reserving your spot for the PGY1 and the PGY2 separately. And that's why these are called the PGY2 position. And the PGY1 spot, it's either considered as a transitional year, this one PGY1 only, or you do it as a surgery prelim as a PGY1 only. And you see some specialties that have both PGY1 and PGY2 positions like dermatology. You saw it up and you see it here, but you'd see more positions available in one or the other. So for example, Derm, you have 524 positions av available for PGY2 and only 30 as a PGY1. And for the common route of dermatology, you see 10 people match into dermatology as non-US IMGs and two as US IMGs. But again, the majority of these spots go to MD seniors 424. IR, another competitive specialty, six and three. PMNR, getting more and more competitive, eight and 13. The majority of diagnostic radiology are through a PGY2 position and you have 77 and 33. And then you have the R positions for people who completed already a PGY1 transitional year or prelim year and they can start this specialty the next year immediately. So when you know your match result, if you apply for this R position, uh, if you know your match result in ma uh, March of 2025, you would start this in June or July of 2025, you won't be waiting the next year. But that only applies for people who already completed or are completing a PGY1 transitional year or prelim year. I hope this video provided you some insights about the match data. There are a lot of other stuff that you can check out in the PDF uh, that I'm sharing the screen from right now. And I'll leave the link for that in the description of this video. It's from the NRMP website. As you can see, there are IMGs who matched into all specialties almost and with the right guidance, with the right hard work and the mentorship, 
you can make it even the most competitive specialties. And we have helped hundreds of applicants match into residency in the US in their dream specialties. And we're happy to help you with that as well. If you're interested in exploring our match packages that includes personal statement editing, era CV editing, uh, advising and interview prep, check out the different uh, packages that I'll leave in the link of, the, of this video. And if you want to talk to our support team, it's fully free. You can uh, explore the different packages, ask them any questions you have about which one would be the ideal to you. And all our services are risk-free, which means if you're not happy, we'll give you your money back, no questions asked, because our priority is your satisfaction and your success. Before you go, if you still have any questions about the match results, drop them in the comments below, and I'll try to answer as many questions as possible. Share this video with your colleagues and make sure to watch this video that I will leave on this screen here on how to fill the ERAS application, which you might need now if you're applying to the match or very soon if you're applying soon. Thank you everyone so much for tuning in and good luck on your match.